Hey guys, I have a vegan grocery haul to share with you today, so we're gonna jump right into it because we did our shopping on the weekend, but today's Monday, so I had to pull everything out of the fridge that we just got, and it's like sweating all over the place. So I'm gonna start with the perishables first so I can get them put away again. But we do most of our shopping at Costco because we like to buy in bulk there, it's cheaper that way. And then I'll buy, you know, certain items at Safeway, anything that Costco doesn't have, and then we'll go to Mono Foods, which is a health food store that's fairly affordable. It's like the most affordable one on the island, so we'll go out to uh, paella like once a week and go buy some of our bulk items there and then there might be a couple of items from Whole Foods I don't do like a whole lot of shopping at Whole Foods because it's uh, it's more expensive um, But yeah, yeah, most of our shopping is done at Costco. These are coolest strawberries. These are delicious. They're huge They're super sweet. They're grown locally upcountry here on the island and oh that's someplace else that I like to shop is the farmers market every Saturday Michael and I will go down to the swap meet um, And we'll go to the farmers market, which is like the back section It's the biggest farmers market on the island and and they have delicious produce there, tons of fruit, tons of tropical fruit, and then blackberries, because I love blackberries. So we got both these from Costco, and then asparagus, delicious. I like to steam asparagus, and then we'll have like a side of potato, uh, like baked potato, and then we'll do like a vegan steak, like a portobello mushroom steak really good. I got a big bag of broccoli. I love cooking broccoli up in stir fries. It's so good. It's one of my favorite vegetables. And then spring mix. We have a big tub of spring mix. Also get this at Costco. And then we get these sweet mini bell peppers from Costco. It looks like Michael took like maybe like half the bag to work today. Well that's good. They're a good snack. And then more berries. We have blueberries here. And then we get these cakey cukes, which are just miniature cucumbers, and they're grown locally here in Hawaii. They're really good. And they're super, you know, they're super like convenient to be able to just grab one and snack on it that way. And then baby bok choy, which I also like doing in stir fry. And then we have some green onions, which are escaping from the bag. And then cilantro. And then look at this red cabbage. How beautiful is that? That is just gorgeous. That is, that's a gorgeous piece of food there. So what I like to do is just peel back the leaves and I'll use those for raw tacos, like as the raw taco shells. But that's really good to use as shells. And look at the color on that. That is like so vibrant. You just know it's packed full of antioxidants and vitamins and minerals for you. Okay, I just stopped for a minute so I could put that food away so it wouldn't be sweating all over the coffee table here. So I also get these watermelon radishes, which I showed them in one of our recent vlogs. And these are really good. They're actually, they're more mild than regular radishes, so I like to use these in salads, or I'll just eat them plain, you know, or with hummus or something, but they're really good. They're super tasty, and they're really pretty inside. Um, so let me find the one. I have one chopped open already that I was eating from this weekend, so I can show you what it looks like inside. Look at that. Look at that color. Is that not like the most gorgeous radish you've ever seen? So yeah, if you come across watermelon radishes in your area, then definitely get one and try it out. They're really good. And look at that color. I mean, you know, with a, with a vegetable bursting with color like that, you know it's gonna be good for you. And then we have this big slab of tortillas that we get at Costco. Michael actually eats these. I don't really eat these so much because I'm really sensitive to gluten. It makes me break out really bad with cystic acne. I can get away with a tiny bit, but I really try to keep it at a minimum. But yeah, he'll do burritos or chimichangas or whatever with these. Um, I tend to do burrito bowls. I really like those. So no shell at all. You just do all like all the same ingredients, but just layered in a bowl just as delicious. And then this Almond Breeze Almond Milk, we get this in a box at Costco. So I've got the whole box over there, but I just grabbed one to show you. But this is really good. I like the unsweetened. This is the vanilla unsweetened one. So that's our favorite for almond milk. And then Zico, uh, the coconut water. So we got this at Costco also in a big box. But I like to use coconut water in my smoothies. And then also from Costco, we have a big bag of avocados. I love my avocado. I do lots of Mexican food and I always have to have guacamole like on everything. We also bought one of those big packages of apples at Costco, so one of the big slabs. Michael got it. Um, but he already threw the container away, so I just grabbed a couple off the counter to show you. And then I got one of those Costco flats of apricots because I love apricots. And we also got a bunch of tomatoes, so Michael already threw the package away for that too. So everything is kind of just like sitting out on the counter. It kind of drives me crazy, but he, I had to make sure that I was filming. I was like, oh crap, did I not turn that on? You guys know how I am. I try to keep things organized, but Michael is like the opposite of me, and so everything in the kitchen is as disorganized as it can possibly be and it drives me insane but that's like his area you know he kind of claimed the kitchen area he was like do whatever you want in the rest of the house but kitchen is like my sort of like realm right he likes cooking and stuff so i don't go in there and like mess anything up or touch anything he does he has it organized how he wants it and 
I just have to deal with it <laughs> just like he has to deal, deal with like my own quirks and stuff um, but yeah he always dumps all of the produce out onto the counter and then there's like no counter space at all to work on it drives me insane but that's another video entirely <laughs> right okay I gotta get back on track here we're doing a grocery store haul all right continuing on I have some papayas here and I know that pretty much like almost all papayas are GMO but I, I still eat them. Like, we still eat them out here. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys eat papaya still? How do you feel about the GMO topic? I know it's like a hot topic debate. Usually I try to avoid it, like, whenever possible. But I don't know. I gotta have my papaya still, you know? I've got garlic that I use in stir fry. And then I have a bag of kelp noodles. These are raw kelp noodles. They're really good to put on salad or if you like doing like a raw pad thai or something like that. This is really good for that. Um, they are kind of like long and really um, like more tougher, I guess. So I like to cut them up with some scissors or something beforehand. Otherwise they can, you might choke on one or something. I don't know, but they're really, really good. And then we get our medjool dates from Costco. These are really good and you get a nice, like a nice big tub of them too. Like I feel like in the regular stores, like regular grocery stores, you get like this tiny little package and it costs like the same amount as if you just go to Costco and get like a huge package like this. I got some bulk rice. I got this at Whole Foods, I think, but sometimes I'll get it, you know, like most health food stores will carry this. But this is the forbidden rice, the black rice, and I really like this a lot in sushi. So I got some other sushi ingredients here. I like making vegan sushi here and it's just cheaper. Like I cannot pay like going out sushi prices. Like I will not. I will just make it at home and I'll be just as happy as if I went out to some fancy restaurant and had sushi there. So I got my forbidden rice. It's gonna be perfect for the sushi I'm gonna make. I'll try to make that today. Wait, I don't know about today, maybe tomorrow. Um, maybe I can do it on video tomorrow with you guys or something. Maybe we'll do a vlog tomorrow. Um, I also got the nori sheets. So I get these in a pack at Costco for the sushi. And then if I'm making sushi, I have to have my pickled sushi ginger. Um, the thing with ginger is, or like the sushi ginger is a lot of times it'll be dyed pink and you do not want that crap. That is so bad for you. Um, the thing is also like if you read the package of some of those, some not all of them will say it, but they should say it. They should have a warning on all packages, but some will actually say hazardous to your health. And I can't even believe that they're selling that in a grocery store, you know? Like I need to go back and like, I don't know, like photograph that or film that or something because I just couldn't believe it. Like hazardous to your health and you're selling it to people to eat. That's not okay. What are food manufacturers trying to do to us? They're like trying, they are trying to kill us. I swear that they are. So go for the non-pink, like go for the natural pickled sushi ginger. Um, try to avoid anything that has like all the dyes and crap in there. It's so bad for you. Okay, so I also got my organic black bean pasta. This is really good like if you have to go like gluten free or something. Like I try to avoid gluten, you know, because I mentioned it makes me break out. So I just look for alternatives like the brown rice pasta. Did I show you that yet? Oh, here we go. Okay, so I, like this is a brown rice pasta. I just get, you know, grab these at my health food store. They're pretty inexpensive. So yeah, there's just so many good alternatives if you have to go gluten free. So those are a couple of really good ones there. Brown rice pasta, black bean spaghetti pasta. Those are good. And I have some roots. I love my roots. I got potatoes. I really like these fingerling potatoes. I got these at Safeway. The purple Peruvian ones are my favorite. They're real deep, rich, vibrant purple. And they're so good just as, you know, you can do them up just like any other baked potatoes. So I like to do mini baked potatoes with these. And then sweet potatoes are some of my favorite food. They're so nutritious for you too. So I'll get these red skin sweet potatoes at Safeway. And oh, I also have a little turmeric root here and I'll grade that into like green juices or like green smoothies. But turmeric is super healthy for you. Um, so I like to use that in, you know, in any type of like cooking, stir fries, all kinds of stuff. Um, and then as far as the other sweet potatoes here, these are the Okinawan sweet potatoes. I, I'll get these at Safeway as well. And you also need to cook them for a little bit longer than you would a regular sweet potato. So just a quick tip with cooking the Okinawan purple sweet potatoes, but super good for you, super nutritious. Okay, this Nature's Pass granola we got at Costco. Um, a lot of times I like to make my own granola at home because it's so much cheaper and you know, oats are like super inexpensive expensive, right? So it's super easy to make your own granola at home, but once in a while we will buy this because it's, you know, easy. Yeah, you know, for those lazy days. Did we get everything? I think that was it. Okay, let's make some vegan sushi because, yeah, I could go for some vegan sushi this afternoon or tomorrow. Have you guys had purple sweet potato sushi? Oh, it's the best. Whole Foods actually does it. So 
sometimes I'll go into Whole Foods and I'll just kind of like check out, you know, like what they got going on in there, like what they're making, and I'll just go home and, you know, try to remake it at home, like remake the recipe. So in Whole Foods, there's this vegan sushi recipe that they do, and they use Okinawan sweet potato, so the purple sweet potato, and then they'll do green bean and then avocado in there. And then they'll like have a little piece of cilantro to garnish on top, and then some sort of little sauce that they do. But it's really freaking good. Yeah, let's do some sushi. Let's do some purple sweet potato sushi. Yes, I like it. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Hey guys, so I'm set up in the living room. I hope that this lighting and everything will be okay. I actually really like it out here because I have the AC on, it's cooler, so I'm not like stuck back in the back room in my little hot box filming like I usually am. Oof, that good. I turn into just like the biggest sweat hog you can imagine, just like dripping off me. Okay, you don't want that. You don't want that information before I'm doing a food haul. <laughs> you. Okay, let me try that again. Oh, I've got a little um, turmeric root here, that little tiny one, if you can see that. I've got them all up. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Ha <laughs>